I'm Jackie Shopes and this is Challenge Accepted. I am down here at East Park in this lovely field that is going to transform into something special on August 7th. As you notice, I'm holding this lovely wooden box. So let's take a peek into it. This is actually a vintage croquet set that they used to use when playing croquet. So here are the balls and those were the mallets. And then of course we have these things. And I just found out that these are called wickets. And the goal is to try to hit the balls through the wickets and get the least amount of points. Now, I have a special guest, his name is James, and he's gonna tell us all about the croquet tournament that will be happening here August 7th. So James, come on over. So I'm here with James, a member of the Connellsville Recreation Park and Recreation Board. We have an amazing event coming up, don't we? Yes, we do. And what is this amazing event? It's a croquet tournament. First time the city of Connellsville will see one. It's gonna be on August 7th. It's gonna run from one to approximately 4.30. Okay. And uh, we're gonna have 24 teams involved. And uh, it's going to be a great afternoon. It's a new event and a new experience for the city. Yeah. So if someone wants to register, can they still do so? And how do they do that? They would register through myself. Okay. Um, they need to hurry because we are selling out very, very fast. Right. Um, we are doing 24 teams, like okay. I said. Yep. And I believe we are at 18 teams at the moment. So how do I how do I reach out to you? I say James, and you come running, right? That's it. <laughs> um, you reach out to me through an email address. Okay, what's your email address? It is Flynn James twenty one at yahoo.com. Flynn F L Y N N N N. Very good. Flynn James twenty one twenty one at yahoo.com. At yahoo.com. That's a lot. That's I mean that's that's hard to remember. Uh, awesome. So croquet, I know that this is a more prestigious sport and there is etiquette involved. What is some of the etiquette-ish rules that we try to abide by when playing croquet? Well, one of the first and most important is I'll wait. Oh, whoops, I missed the memo. <laughs> no problem. Um, I'll wait, it's okay. a uh, social event. Mm. Um, it, uh, was actually started, uh, it's actually a French term, it was started Ooh. in the 1300s uh, in France, peasants, and then it moved to Ireland where they called it croquet. Okay. And then in the 1800s, uh, England adopted it as a sport for the elite. Oh. So all white is necessary for both men and women? Yes. Okay, and are there like special shoes? Do you have like cleats or? or... No, nope. just whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, and then hats? Yes. Hats are a big part of it for okay. the women uh, and the men. Um, it's kind of the uh, croquet tournaments kind of go like the Kentucky Derby. Okay. People like to dress. It's yes. a very um, high fashion event. Yes. So and I know like at the Kentucky Derby, hats are the main, like, that's the focal point for the women. Like big, huge, glorious hats. Well, it's not quite like the Kentucky okay. Derby with the hats. But, but it's still glorious. It's still glorious. All right, awesome. So croquet, I don't really know anything about it. I, I basically know what it looks like. I don't know the rules of croquet or, or even how it works. I know um, there's gonna be how many different, um, are they called fields or courts. or courts? How many different courts? We're gonna have eight courts and eight? we're gonna have okay. a judge on each court and then we're gonna have a main judge and a judge's tent. Oh, see, I, I didn't even know there were judges. I mean, I guess if I would have thought about it, I would have realized, well, somehow you have to win and somehow someone has right. to keep track of things. Can you foul, foul out or like, basically give me the rundown of croquet because I am clueless. <laughs> the rundown of croquet, we're doing the basic backyard rules this year. Okay. There are many different setups and many different rules and types of croquet that you can play. Okay. Um, we're doing the basic um, nine wicket setup. Okay. And, um, <laughs> Excuse me. We're doing the basic nine wicket set yeah, yeah. and um, just the general backyard rules. Okay. And what we're planning on doing is, since this is a new experience for all of us, we're planning on sending out tutorial videos to all the teams ah. with instructions and rules. Oh, so, so do some be, research. They'll be prepared mm. when they get here, the players. Okay, so croquet, like the actual croquet set, it kind of looks like a wooden hammer-ish. It's a mallet. Thing. Okay, yes. and then there are balls. There are balls and there are wickets. What are wickets? Wickets are the the, the wire. Ah, so like off of Alice in Wonderland. Yes, exactly. Ah, okay, okay. And I know you brought a set with you plus an antique set. Yes, I Would did. Would we be able to look at that? You sure can. All right, awesome. 
Okay, so you have it set up as the traditional backyard cricket. And you were saying that we have to start at, or did I say cricket? I mean croquet. I don't know, what is cricket? Cricket is a... A bug. That it goes, is a bug. Yeah, yeah. But it's also a sport from India. Ah, okay. Well, we're dealing with croquet. Croquet. So, we start at, at this this wicket? Yes. Is, is this the wicket or no, these no. things? No, no. This is the wicket. This is just a... Starting point. Starting point. So, can you show me how, how we start? Like, where? how do I place the ball? Yep. You're okay. just going to place it here. Okay. And so, so your goal is to get it through both. both of these. Okay, both of them. Go ahead. So, well, this is tough. Sorry. Oh. Go and ahead. then, and then, do we take turns? Yes, you do take turns. So, like, if I have a team of how many people can be on There's a team? There's only two on a team. Oh, so if I have a team of two, you'll go, then I go, then then you. Okay. So then, I have to try to hit it through this wicket. Okay. And I'm I'm wanting to aim it to You're over here. For over here. Okay. Oh. Very good. Now, how do you score? I'm, is it kind of like golf, depending on how many hits it takes you to get to? Yes. Okay. So like, is is it scored based on? Say it takes me 50 hits to get there and back. Is that how it's scored, or is it scored how many hits it takes you to get through a wicket? The time frame and. Now, for example, if I hit your ball, oh. I get to, which I'll just pick this up. Yeah. <clears throat> if I would hit your ball, I can knock you out. Oh. In another direction, most people choose to, you can take an extra shot, or you can do a ah. penalty shot where you, you can move your ball. Oh, okay. Out of the way if it's in my way. Oh, interesting. So penalties, how, what, how, what are, how do penalties work? Penalties work if you go out of bounds. Oh, okay. So there's going to be like a... All the courts will be marked. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. So go there, there'll be eight courts. Uh, they'll all be painted. Okay. And they'll all be side by side. Okay. So when when we're playing, um, you want to get the least amount of hits to get back to the finish line, correct? Exactly. Uh, and then the penalties, of course, if you go out, they add like a point or something. Okay. So can I try to get it through that wicket? Is, is the goal to like really swing hard and, or is it to, to be, you know? Well, since this is backyard croquet, yeah. um, you don't have to swing that hard, but the sanction courts okay. are flat like a green on a golf course. Ah. Where you can really make the ball roll. Okay, very good. So I've got to try to get it. Now, is there a stance or should you try to hold it like? Well, like... this is how I do it. Okay. So this, is, like this is a standard stance. Kind of like golf, yeah. sort of? Okay. All right. Oh. Ha ha. So, okay, so I overshot. Do I have to try to come back around? You have to come back around. Ah, interesting, interesting. Okay, so good. So we have to get through here, and then you said go to this one, and then this one, and this one. And then hit it through both of these wickets here and touch the pole. Just hit the pole. And hit the pole. And then, of course, we got to go back through. Back through. And hit that one, and that, that one, one, and that, that one. one. Back through those two and hit the pole. And hit the pole. The key, you have to hit the pole. What happens if you don't hit the pole? You play until you hit the pole. Ah, <laughs> all right. If you pass the pole, then you got to hit your ball back. And very good. What do the different colors mean on here? Is it just how you keep track of like your ball? Yes, exactly. Okay. All right, very good. This sounds like a wonderful event. Croquet, eight courts, two people on a team. I mean, just amazing. August 7th. 7th. A beautiful venue. You've yeah. got East Park. You've got this beautiful field. You've got the architecture um, of the park. Yeah. Um, it's just perfect. Wonderful. Now, here's the thing. Is it kid friendly? It is kid friendly, okay. but it is not this year. Okay, very good. It is going to be 21 and over. So this is a good opportunity that if you want to go on a date with your significant other, perfect. You come to this event and enjoy your time kid free. And how have... classy is that to bring a date to a croquet oh, tournament? Right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wear your white. Get all dressed up, nice and fancy. 
Exactly. Well, awesome. We cannot wait for this croquet tournament. It's going to be lots of fun. Thanks for showing me how to play croquet. I'm quite terrible at it. But I might have to watch <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> yeah. I am too. I might have to watch some YouTube videos. Oh, yep. We will send them out Very to good. all the players. There They'll you go. Receiving instructions. Awesome. Thank you so much, James, for coming down and showing us about croquet. Thank you. My pleasure. <gasps> speedy and, and lacked patience, but I know with a couple of YouTube tutorials, I will be a professional by the time croquet comes around on August 7th down here at East Park. Wonderful event. We're super excited about doing this. Look how awesome this mallet is. It's two-sided. That way you can hit it this way or if you want to hit that way. However you want to hit your croquet ball. I'm Jackie Schultz and this is Challenge Accepted. 